item of business before we start loading a trailer is to make sure that the trailer is secure. So we, on this trailer we have little legs that go down and you have to make sure that those are down otherwise you end up doing a teeter-totter ride which is unnerving and not that much fun. Now as we start to load it we have to make sure that everything is in a, a correct place. So we've designed this particular load to make sure that the items that are loose can be secured by something. So when we put the ratchet strap down, they're nice and strong. So the first thing that goes in is the A-frame that holds the uh, signs. Next, we're putting in the chairs. The chairs are gonna be going along the A-frame. Okay, just to get us started here, we do not want the, these things falling down, so we're taking our utility kit box and we're going to jam it up against those things so that they can't fall down. Okay, next we're going to put our broom in. And in this case, we like to put the broom, <laughs> personal preference, upside down because it seems to fit better if we do it that way. Next, we're putting our sign portfolio in. And then, and then to hold it up, we have a cart, so we're gonna put the cart in. Okay, to secure all that to the wall, we take the toolkit, In this particular case, uh, we have a handle on it. It's a rolling tool kit, so we have a handle on it. And we'd like to put the handle part toward the door. That's gonna be uh, the base for resting a table. Okay, the next item that goes in is the folding table. And we're putting the folding table on top of the two boxes. Everything is snug tight and at this point we can take our first utility strap and I'll show you in a moment how uh, the best way to do the hook up the utility straps. When there's lots of room it's not usually a problem, when it's very tight there is a problem. Okay, so Dan, it's hooked on the wall. Dan, Dan, it's hooked on the wall. <laughs> we have hooks on our walls here so that we can keep the straps uh, out of the way of loading. But as you can see, it's not something that we always think of right off the bat. Okay, Dan is now ratcheting down the load. We want this nice and tight, but not so tight that we're going to break the table. Now you'll notice that um, all the things against the wall are secured by the utility boxes and the toolbox, and with the table on the top, they're secured to the floor. Now to finish up the front, we're putting in our safety cones. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a line on the floor. That's where the cots are going to go. So the safety cones are going to be in there. And then we have a safety triangle, and we're putting it inside the safety cones. Finally, to complete the front load, we're putting in tire chocks. And we're putting in our, um, our hitch. Those don't need to be quite as secure because in most cases we'll be using those immediately before we even move the trailer. Okay, the front is now loaded. We're going to take a look at our key sheet, make sure we have everything. A frame, yes, two chairs, yes, utility box, yes, signs, cart, broom, cones, table, 
and triangle. So the front is now complete. You can lock up the front door. At this point, it's uh, a good idea to take a look at how the utility straps, the ratchet straps work. Um, they can be confusing for somebody who's not used to using them. So this is by far the simplest way to do this. We start out by closing the ratchet strap and you'll notice that on the cylinder there is no slot showing. So what I'll do is crank it a couple of times until when it's closed the slot is vertical and you can see right through it. At this point we take the strap and we put the strap through it. Thanks Jim. And then we pull it tight over the load. Okay, we don't have a load, so. But we pull it tight over the load, and then once it's tight, then we can start to do the ratcheting. Now, very often, you might have to pull a little lever that's in the middle, that one, and then you can start ratcheting it. Okay, now, to undo this, we do kind of the opposite. We have to take the little lever that's in the middle, and you pull it tight and then you have to open this up to 180 degrees and once you do that ooh, once you do that it releases the cylinder so you can just pull on the strap and it comes right back out okay that was very poorly done but anyway you get the idea okay at this point we're going to start loading the load and it's a extremely important that it goes in the right place. So for our convenience, we put lines on the floor, a rectangle showing where the cots go, and also a little message showing direction. This is the cots have to go this direction. Okay, we're gonna start loading. Now we have boxes that are this shape, and we have boxes that have two, in the, two cots in it. You might not necessarily have that, but it doesn't really matter, the concept is the same. If you have boxes that are flat that have the two side by side, this, it works the same exact way. And if you have cots that are loose and don't have, they're just in bags and they don't have boxes, again, it works exactly the same way. What we try for is on the first row is to put 12 cots. Now it's only 12 cots because of the way they're configured. So it's six and then six more if it's configured in a different way. But basically we have to have six across. And then we just keep piling them up and in the end, we're probably going to end up with, unless they're loose, you're going to end up with 48 cots, which would be four rows of six. Okay, at this point, we have the cots all in, and the 50. Uh, the two with the 50 is at the top, so we got 48 and then the two at the top. Now we're going to start loading blankets. Now this is the one that takes the most imagination because the blankets almost always come configured in different ways. But the bottom line is the blankets have to go on top of the cots. And they have to be centered over the cots somehow. So in this particular one, we're putting two boxes long ways. We have a cot in the middle. Scooch them all over so we can reach our ratchets. Now, there, 
we have 10 uh, blankets in a box, so we need five boxes. So we're putting the fifth one over. And then we have a very long ladder here. We have a six foot ladder and really the only place that it fits is on top of these. So we're placing it. And we're also using that as a base for the tie down. Okay, we are all ready to start strapping them in. Okay, like we said before, we have uh, chains here as an extension because we found that the ratchets, the strap uh, is very, very short. And if we don't put an extension on it, then we would be opening up uh, the ratchet and having to ratchet very low with the boxes right there. And it was just too tight. So we decided to put in the chains. It's a four foot length chain, as we said before, and it's secured to the floor with the chain link. Okay, you will find that this is probably the most challenging part of loading the trailer, is doing this particular ratchet. The strap goes over the top of that box and it also goes over the ladder. Okay, this load is now secure. It will be going nowhere. We have taken it across the country and we have had things that nothing moves in this trailer. And that's the whole point. When you have a stable load inside the trailer, you have a stable trailer and the driver then is transporting safely. Now the two ratchets that we have not talked about yet, the final one on the floor here, which connects to this one. This space in here is left over for things that we may have to pick up uh, at the last minute and that would be the go kits for administrating the centers and also um, sometimes we put in hygiene kits also known as comfort kits and that is for um, so that we have to put them in afterwards so that they don't get frozen Okay, now we're gonna do a quick look to make sure that we have all the items that we need in the back. We have our cots, blankets, ladder, chalk and hitches we have moved to the front for convenience. And you'll notice the pool noodles are missing off our list and that's why we forgot them, so. <laughs> okay, we're closing it up. Okay, this particular trailer is now loaded, ready to go. It's module 27, as you can see. License plate is P5156D. And this particular trailer is destined to go to Bancroft. So those of you in Bancroft, this is your trailer. Okay, after we have done, after we have done a final inventory, then we put in the binder in the side. This binder has an uh, inventory list on it and it also has the registration for the trailer. We make sure we have already made sure that that matches up and we lock it up.